Hello everyone, Amud here from your target YouTube channel and this video will be an addition to lead code 100 problems. In this video, we are going to solve sort the people problem of lead code. This problem says that you are given an array of strings name and an array height that consist of distinct positive integers. Both arrays are of length n. If you see the example below, it says that we have two arrays. One is called names and another is called height. So it says that for each index i, names of i and heights of i denote the name and height of the ith person. It means if you see here, then the height of Mary will be 180, height of John will be 165 and height of Emma will be 170. Now it says that we need to return names sorted in descending order by the people height. So here this height array is not sorted. It is asking you to sort in descending order means it should come from top to bottom. So which one is the highest one? We have 180. So we need to return the first name which will be Mary. Then 170 will be second highest. So 170 height belongs to Emma. So when the output will be Emma. Then 165 will be third one, 165 belongs to John. Let's think of logic. Here we know that whatever arrays they are giving, those are mapped. Means the first person height is 180, second person height is 165 and third person height will be 170. You might be thinking, okay, we have simple array, we can sort it. So if you sort it like 180, then 170, then 165. The positions are changing here, right? So obviously the related person will be also changed. So but before performing sorting and all, we should have some data structure where we can store this mapping. So now we can think of like, okay, let's have names as a key and their heights as a value. Means Mary will be key and the value will be 180. But if you see the second example here carefully, so we have duplicate names. So we cannot have duplicate keys so obviously we cannot have names as a key but if you read the problem carefully you can get the solution from the problem statement itself it says that an array height that consists of distinct positive integers means whatever heights they are giving they are unique so here instead of considering the name as key we need to consider the heights as a key means 180 will be key and the value will be Mary because values can be duplicates but key cannot be duplicate so first step will be create a map and store height and name in that map now we can go and sort the height array after sorting the height we need to simply iterate the height array and for each value which will be a key in my map and then we need to get the value from that let's write the code for it so here i've already created one class where i have a static method to sort the people which takes one string array names and integer array height. So what is the first thing? We need to create a map. So let me use the hash map and it will be integer comma string because we need to use the heights as a key. Now we need to iterate any array just to get the index and we can feed the value in my map. So I'll use for loop in i equal to zero, i less than names dot length. Any array you can use here i plus plus so mapping dot put so first i need to get the key so key is in heights array so heights of i and then names of i so after this for iteration we will have a map with edge below so 180 will be key and value will be mary then 165 will be key and value will be John, 170 will be key and value will be Emma. Here we have primitive array. So we might need to convert this primitive array to the integer array objects and all. So I don't want to do those things. I will simply get the keys from this map and I will simply sort it using the collections. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have an array list of integer i can give it any name so i will use all heights and i can extract all the keys from my hash map so we can use a key set method this key set method returns you one set but i want in array list because i want to sort it so i will convert the set to array list so for that i can simply create an instance of new array list and i can pass the result of key set now I can call the sort method. This problem says that we need to sort the people's height in descending order. So I will not go with the default order. I need to 
pass the reverse reverse order so i need to use the collection dot reverse order so now this method will sort the heights in the descending order descending order means if you take this array in example then i will get the output as 180 then 170 165 this will be my descending order since i need to return one string array so let me create a new string array the length of new string array will be same as number of names so i can use the names dot length now i will simply iterate all the height values so int j equal to 0 j less than all heights dot size then j plus plus it should be j here so i simply need to add the names in the correct order into my result array so result of j starting from 0th index so after sorting the array when we iterate it so first time we'll get 180 so 180 will be key in my map so i need to extract the related name from the map so i can use mapping dot get of all heights dot get and j then i need to simply return it so let me run the program and let me show you the output so the output is mary emma and john what which is expected so let me use the another input so you can see here the output is expected let me run this program in debug mode and show you how data is following let's put the debug point at line number seven and run in debug mode so when the program starts we have two arrays names and heights we have three values so let me do step over so we have one empty map you can see the size is zero so now i am iterating both names and heights to get the values and put into the map so for the first one where i value is zero so height of zero will give me 180 and the names of zero will give me mary so in the map it will be stored as 180 as key and mary as a value so let me do a step over so that you can see so you can see under the mapping we have one element and if you extend it you can see here key is 180 and value is mary similarly it will go for each element in the array and we already know that the length of elements in both the arrays will be same so let me do the step over quickly so after the for iteration we have three elements in hash map now i am extracting all the keys in my all height array list so you can see in all heights we have three elements 180 165 170 so this statement will perform the sorting and we will have the output as 180 170 and 165 currently you can see we have 180 165 170 so let me do a step over and now if I extend the all heights, you can see it is in descending order. Here I am simply creating a result string array with the same length as names. Now I need to iterate the sorted all heights array list, the j value is 0. So from all heights array list, it will return me 180. So we need to get the corresponding value in map. So 180 has the value in the mapping object as Mary. So this will extract the Mary and it will put into my result string array. So let me evaluate this statement here. You can see the output is Mary. So let me do the step over. You can see how it is putting the value in my string array so here you can see in the result string array we have one value as mary if i do the step over two times then the iteration will be completed because we have only three elements so now you can see in the result array we have three elements mary emma and john and these are actually sorted as per height so which i am returning and we can make this program more optimal instead of using the hash map we can use the tree map the advantage of tree map is that we can have the elements in the sorted order there also we can provide in which order we want whether in ascending order or descending order ascending order will be default for descending order we need to pass when you create an object of tree map so that you need to try and comment that solution on this video so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and save the others thank you everyone